As we've seen, Ubiquiti has been releasing a bunch of specialty cameras in their application. And the AI LPR, so uh, AI license plate recognition camera, is one of them. So with this camera, you're able to catch any license plate that comes in front of it. And with its pass-through IR, so this is a filter it uses inside of the camera, it's actually able to catch them even at night. So you don't have this re reflective aspect on the license plate itself. So again, you're able to capture all the information. And this is what we will show you today. So how to configure your AI LPR camera and also how to make all types of different things. We also have a little surprise for you that you can see right behind me. So we also installed the AI horn speaker and we configured it with the AI LPR camera. So anytime there will be a vehicle of interest coming in front of it, it will trigger a sound and you will be able to hear it to its 120 dB volume. So again, really loud, but this is something you can adjust. And later we'll do a full review about the AI horn, but today we'll focus on the AI LPR camera itself. We're talking 4K resolution, 3X optical zoom, and this crisp AI analytics that you can have to trigger for vehicles. But also, if for some reason that's not the main purpose of this camera, you decide to do person, pets, and other types of detection, you can do this. But again, why would you do this when it's called LPR? Focus on the right things. All right, let's see how it works. All right, so jumping inside the Unify platform itself, as you can see inside your Unify Protect, you already have your AI LPR and AI orange speaker. So we'll focus on the AI LPR camera right now. So clicking on it, as you can see on the left side, you have a quick overview of your camera, but we will focus on the recording settings. So clicking on there, here are your recording options. So on our case, we want to do an always record and also a continuous recording mode. So this way we're really able to capture all the license plate. This one was temporarily installed for over a month. So we're able to capture, I think over 400 license plate total. So we're really able to show you really interesting demos so you can see how this camera performs in a real life situation. Now, you can create motion events. On our case, we'll not focus on that, but if this is something you want, so to have not only the cars, but also people walking by and you will want your camera to trigger these events, this is something you can do. And underneath, you have the create AI events with the LPR dedicated. So just to show you, I will remove the create AI events and I will click back on it because as you can see, this is an AI camera. You have animal detection, you have license plate, person, vehicle, even some different audio detection that you can have. But when you click on LPR dedicated, it removes all the other analytics because this is why the camera was made is really to focus on the license plate recognition to be able to really pull all that information. So focusing your processor on that type of things. Now, underneath that, you have some recording presets that you can have. So the seconds added before the LPR detection and also after. So that means that every time a license plate is recognized by the camera, it will record a clip. So two seconds before and three seconds after. So this gives you a great overview of where the car was coming from, uh, where did he stop? So depending on the view you have with your camera, you can understand the situation better that way. Then recording quality. So you choose your FPS if you want it into auto or custom. Same thing with the video compression encoding NNs are standard and as I mentioned earlier so the recording resolution for this camera you can go all up to 4k I recommend leaving it to 4k because again talking about LPR it's all about those details if you put it down to save on the storage space not worth it honestly stick with 4k this way you're sure there will be no false alarm through the detection of the license plates and now the interesting part so you have different detection zone that you can create as well so when we click on edit motion zone, as you can see, you draw a zone there and any motion in that zone will create an event if you created an event for motion detection prior to this. But for us, it's more about the smart zones. So this, depending on the de detection type, so for us vehicles, we want to have vehicles in this detection zone so we can remove the rest. And every time there's a vehicle that will come in that zone, then it will also trigger an alarm. Uh, I will just cancel that one not saving it and going back to the camera 
we have the line crossing, so you can also configure a line crossing. So depending on which size the, the cars are coming from. So this is also something you can customize for your AI LPR camera. Again, it's all about monitoring the situation, understanding the different patterns. Here it's more a residential use, so cars are not really going fast. It was more for testing and seeing different types of cars. But depending if you want to monitor a parking lot maybe, or even an highway, because this camera can record the license plate to cars going up to 90 kilometers an hour. So it can be really good depending on the road where you install it. But in that case, I always recommend to follow the Unify installation guide. So they will guide you at which height the camera needs to be installed and also at which angle you need to place it. So you're really able to capture the license plate properly. Now moving on to the settings. So the cogwheel on the top right here, uh, what's important to note is right here. So the LPR night vision, because this camera has a special IR pass filter. So that means that it will remove the reflective aspect of the license plate during the night. So, and this is what makes this camera special is that even during nighttime, you're able to see the letters on the license plate. We'll play a clip right here. So this is a license plate we recorded with a regular IR camera. As you can see, we see absolutely nothing. So it's just a white rectangle because of this reflective aspect. And this camera saves you this trouble so you're able to really read what's into it. Uh, more on the settings, well, you have a microphone, so you're actually able to also record the sound outside. You can adjust the sensitivity to your needs. You also have a status light, so if you want to always have the camera visible outside, you can create tags to be able to find it easier. So if you have a bigger unified platform, so multiple cameras and you want to be able to find this camera right away, you can create a tag for it and you can also create different type of alarms. This is something we'll touch a little bit later in the video because we did create some alarms to work with the orange speaker. So stay tuned for that. We'll talk about it and show you some examples. But now let's see how it works in action because this is why you guys came for. So see how this camera actually perform. So we'll go to the vehicle side of things. So on the left side of your screen, when you click on it, as you can see, I wasn't lying. There's a multiple cameras that were detected so we have a lot of license place in our database. So I will click on license plate right here and go into the calendar to select some key moments. So the first one I'm going to talk about is how accurate this camera can be. And we're going to use this example. So this is a pickup truck and it has a trailer. So there are two license plates and it goes by not, it's not about being fast. It's about how it goes fast here. So if I pause, as you can see on the screen, right away, it triggers the truck that is a red truck and you're able to see the license plate really clear. And as soon as it passes by, it switches to this license plate. So a little bit higher up on the screen and you're able to see it, even though it's different number, it's not written in the same way. You're still able to catch all this information really clearly on your screen. Um, I'm going to do actually another trailer. This is an example I like again, because of how fast it triggers the detection. Okay, so for this, we're gonna jump to another date. So we're gonna go to here. There's so many detection guys, there's a, uh, I'm, I'm gonna do all of this for you. So right on, this one is a good example again, because see how this one goes fast. We don't see the license plate anymore on the screen. So we only have the N, it's XVP. But if I move back slowly, I think we will be able to see the full license plate right here. So Z01XVP. So even though it comes by fast and it's get hidden by the trailer in a matter of seconds, it's still able to catch the plate and you're able to have all this information. And on the top left of my screen, you can see there's another license plate and it still pick it up. It's not on the screen anymore, but it was able to see it right before. So we're gonna pause to confirm the information. So RP88, 05C is the right plate. You see even the confidence level, it's not so sure about it because it went so fast, but again, it was able to pick it up. So I love the accuracy of this camera. We even have some vehicles that were going a little bit faster. So we're able to pick that up as well. So let's see this one, for example. So it was going a little bit faster than usual in a residential place. We're gonna put it full screen and as you can see, it was able to pick it up. So I think that was about 55, 60 kilometers an hour. 
and it picked it up no problem great accuracy still able to see it but now let, let's see something that are a bit different from what we're normally used to because here in Canada we have some special plates so when you're using an electrical vehicle so the license plate is using different letters so instead of being blue it's actually green and if you're a veteran well you have some customized design on your license plate itself and I was surprised because it wasn't triggering properly let's say so I will show you the example right here if I go a search so I have this vehicle right here and you can see the plate clearly but it's actually missing a letter and what's funny is that even through our own vision the letter is not clear it, it's hard to see it right so if I zoom in a little bit because you can see that this letter right here is kind of hidden by the drawing that is on the license plate itself so there is a mistake that happens on the AI LPR camera so it's not finding the camera properly but what's special and that's when I was talking about this IR pass filter is that at night it picks up the license plate properly so it's really about just the colors and everything that will mess up with the license plate but if I look for the same plate at night so let me remove this right here so I will write so the letter was a M that we were missing so as you can see here it actually pick it up so same car same area but now as you can see the letter is more clear because of the AI of the camera and you're actually able to pick up the plate so small little fun fact about this again I, I don't know about other countries if you guys have some customized plate like this one if that can happen I'd be happy to know leave a comment below if you ever saw this happen in a real case scenario but in our case I thought it was a funny little bit that that we saw right here and another thing that it is kind of nice as well is this this feature about the eye pass so during the night how the license plate look I kind of call it the ghost mode so I'm going to show you an example right here so we used our test plate and as you can see so it's not a car it's someone holding it but because it's blurring out the whole area making it dark to focus on the license plate you don't really see the person that is holding the camera so the plate is floating but see how clear the image is so there's no reflection at all you're able to see it and understand but it can make some quite uh, funny cases because when you're trying to find a car if you don't have the car during the day well you don't really know the type of car that we was driving at night so the example we'll use here is actually a car that was here on both occasions so I'm gonna remove that plate and we're gonna look for this one right here so this car we saw it during the day so we have his license plate right here so we understand he's driving a Ford Focus we have his license plate but when he does the same thing at night I'm gonna press play so we have no idea of the car but we can confirm it's the same one because of the license plate so again it's doing a really good job during daytime really good job during nighttime you're able to see the license plate but of course maybe in the future a couple of years we'll have the technology to actually see the color of the car without the reflection or anything so for now I thumbs up really doing a great job in terms of analyzing whether it's during daytime or nighttime the license plate it sees and now we focused on the license plate itself but of course we're talking about unit 5 so you have multiple options so going and find anything on the left side you can find vehicles by their color their vehicle type and also their license plate as we mentioned you can find them through loitering so same thing if they just stand in front of your parking you're able to find them there but what I wanted to show is inside the vehicle so motorcycle uh, there's kind of a funny thing so it finds strollers as motorcycle with quite an accurate detection again <laughs> sending this message to unify maybe they can comment below and explain what's going on out here why a stroller is detected as a motorcycle again not really relevant this camera is about license plate recognition but it's just a small bit that I found it funny um, you have also the heat map that is integrated in there and again you can find all the events through your calendar so making it really practical to find any incident when this camera is recording and as we mentioned at the beginning so we will connect the AI LPR camera to the AI Orn speaker to create an active deterrence for different vehicles 
So what we mean by that is that if a vehicle starts loitering in front of your entrance, well, you can create an alarm, so a sequence that will trigger the camera that will speak to the horn speaker and the horn speaker would actually blast a noise or a sound or even a text to speech that you pre-program to make that car go away. Again, we're focusing on the ILPR, but just to show you maybe a, a, an overview of what our review will look like, this is one of the tests we did. So let's show it right now. Like and subscribe to People Systems. So as you can see, just a matter of a couple of seconds and you can configure your AI or speaker to any camera. This is something we've been seeing through the years at different shows, how active deterrence has become so popular. So any kind of action happens, so we're looking at the LPR, so license plate, but if you have a regular AI camera, it could be through person of interest, so when there's a facial recognition, and it will trigger the orange speaker. Again, there's a full video coming up on this topic. And just a small wrap up about the LPR camera, because in our testing, we actually were holding up a license plate in our hands to be able to trigger it, and it wasn't working. So it's another layer of security that it really needs to be on a vehicle. So if you're using an AI LPR to open a gate and someone just comes in front of the camera to open it, it will not work. It needs to be linked to a car. So guys, as you can see, this is a great camera, great product at a great price point. So I highly recommend it if you want to have a LPR camera. It works really well. And again, using the Unify platform, it's easy to configure. All right, I'm Jeremy from People Systems. See you on the next one.